Welcome to City Facts, your destination for all kinds of cool facts and information about various cities around the U.S. and around the world. In this video, we'll be looking at 10 fascinating facts about the city of Atlanta, Georgia. Enjoy. Now first, let's outline some basic demographics and stats about Atlanta before we get into the actual top 10 list here. This is kind of a Wikipedia style thing. So the population of Atlanta is about 506,711, not 12, not 13, not 10, which makes it the 37th largest city in the U.S. by, metro, by uh, just the city limits itself. But actually the metropolitan area has more than 6 million people. So that metro area is actually considered the ninth largest in the U.S. Uh, Atlanta is ranked among the top 20 cities in the world with the strongest economies, which is interesting. Um, it was originally founded as a terminus of a major state-sponsored railroad in 1837. Before that, the Creek people and their ancestors had lived on the land, they're the original inhabitants of the land, but between 1802 and 1825, they were forced out. The 1821 U.S. Indian Removal Act had forced them out, and, the, and then the European Americans began arriving uh, the following year in 1822. So actually, Atlanta was formed pretty late um, compared to other cities in the south and eastern part of the United States. When it was first formed, it was known as Terminus. Then they changed its name later to Thrasherville, which is a really cool name. And then they changed it to Marth Marthasville. And then Atlanta after that, which was a shortened version for the Atlantica Pacifica Railroad. Now, I probably could have included some of those among the top 10 things mentioned earlier, but I researched those things up there after I didn't, did these next 10 interesting things. So you can call that all bonuses and just getting to know Atlanta a little bit. But now, let us begin into the 10 things that are interesting, fascinating facts about Atlanta. Number one. The Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport is considered to be the busiest airport in the world between 1998 and 2019. However, in 2020, Guangzhou's Baiyun Airport overtook it. Now, this largely is because of the pandemic and the 2020 numbers are all wonky because of it. So it's very likely that Atlanta may retake its title after the pandemic is over. A lot of people think it will. So you may be asking why? Why is the Atlanta airport so busy? It's not a city like New York or Los Angeles. There's a few reasons. So for one, it's the home, the original home of Delta Airlines. It's the main hub of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines was founded in Macon, Georgia, not too far from Atlanta. So that's uh, one reason. Another is Atlanta, interestingly, is only a two hour flight within 80% of the US population making it a really major port of entry for international flights because you can connect from there to almost anywhere. Um, also, another reason is a lot of other big cities in the U.S. and elsewhere have more than one airport, like New York, Los Angeles, lots of other places. But Atlanta has only one. And not only does Atlanta have one, there's no other major airports for at least 150 miles in any direction. So for that general region, everybody's coming into Atlanta first. Uh, another reason is it's actually considered to be one of the most efficient airports in the world. So airlines are happy to go through it. In fact, it's actually been crowned the world's most efficient airport 15 times, according to the Air Transport Research Society. So that's super helpful if you have 110.5 million passengers coming through every year. Number two. But the Varsity is an Atlanta-based fast food chain that first started in 1928 that has a couple of really interesting claims to fame. So first of all, the main branch of the Varsity is the largest drive-in fast food restaurant in the world. It takes up to up two city blocks and can accommodate up to 800 diners. Also, it serves more Coca-Cola by volume than anywhere else in the world. <laughs> and every day, it serves over two miles worth of hot dogs, 2,500 pounds of potatoes, and 300 gallons of chili. Whew, that's a lot. Number three. 
So speaking of Coca-Cola, another interesting thing about Atlanta is Coca-Cola was invented and founded in Atlanta. So actually in 1886, a pharmacist by the name of Dr. John S. Pemberton created the drink with a special syrup concoction he made. Today, Atlanta is home to a 20-acre Coca-Cola museum called The World of Coca-Cola, where visitors can learn all about the company and sample over 100 of its products from around the world. There's also all kinds of other interesting interactive displays in there. One of the, I think it's now the second most visited tourist site in all of Atlanta. Number four. Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is home to the Atlanta Falcons, their NFL team, and the Atlanta United, their MLS team, is ranked as being the most sustainable st sports venue in the world. So it's the only sports stadium in the world to achieve platinum certification for leadership in energy and environmental design. So how do they do this? Okay, so one thing they have is a very advanced stormwater management system. So this, along with other water efficient designs used throughout the stadium, help it to use 47% less water than standard stadiums. It also has 4,000 solar panels, which is enough to power nine NFL games. And that combined with other energy saving designs reduces its energy by as much as 60%. It also has a rainwater capture system that waters trees in the area. It offers a bicycle valet program for its events to encourage bike riding. And it has an EV charging station for up to 48 electric cars to charge at once. Number five. Atlanta is regarded as one of the most important cities in the American civil rights movement. It's uh, the birthplace of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the home to many important civil rights museums and other institutions, such as the Apex Museum, which stands for the African American Panoramic Experience. It is housed on the road that was once known as the wealthiest street in America for African Americans. The goal of the museum is to provide visitors with a more complete view for how African Americans have contributed to the U.S. and to the world. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Park. This is a museum on a 35-acre historic park. The park also houses the Ebenezer Baptist Church, where Dr. King was a minister, and Dr. King's birth home. And this museum focuses on the civil rights movement, helping visitors to better understand the movement and Dr. King's role in it. There's also a children's portion of the museum that highlights the, the contribution that children have made to the civil rights movement. The Center for Civil and Human Rights is a museum which is considered to be one of the most dramatic and realistic exhibits of the civil rights era. While focusing on the struggle for civil rights in America, the museum also highlights other struggles for basic rights in other locations around the world. The Auburn Avenue Research Library on African American Culture and History. This 50,000 square foot library is the first library in the Southeast to offer specialized reference and archival collections dedicated to the study and research of African American culture and history and of other peoples of African descent. The Herndon Home Museum. This is a museum located at the former residence of Alonzo Franklin Herndon, who was born into slavery yet went on to become Atlanta's first black multimillionaire as he founded the Atlanta Life Insurance Company. Number six. Atlanta is home to the largest Hindu temple in the U.S., the Baps Shriri Swaminarayan Mandir, which is actually the largest mandir of its kind outside of India. It's made of 34,450 pieces of hand-carved Italian marble, Turkish limestone, and Indian pink sandstone. The stones were actually carved in India and shipped to Atlanta for construction and the temple was constructed by a workforce of volunteers who donated over 1 million cumulative hours of work time. It consists of 86 decorative ceilings, 116 archways, and 340 columns. The landscape grounds spread over 30 acres, and it is open daily for worship to visitors of any faith. Number seven. Now Atlanta has had, or currently does have, some very strange laws. Now to be honest, Almost every city you can find these kind of really odd, oddball laws, but these are Atlanta's unique ones. Now, some of these are Atlanta specific and some of them are countywide or statewide, but this is quite a list. It was once illegal to put an ice cream cone in your back pocket on Sundays in Atlanta. It is illegal to tie a giraffe to a telephone pole in Atlanta, so be careful about that one. It is illegal to keep a donkey in a bathtub 
it is illegal to give another man a piggyback ride in Atlanta. Now that's disappointing. You cannot place a dead bird in your neighbor's lawn. Why you would, I don't know. I don't know if cats get arrested for this one. You cannot whistle after 11 p.m. on Mondays in Georgia. You cannot use a goldfish for a prize in bingo. You cannot sell beer in a two-for-one deal. You cannot picnic in a graveyard. You cannot wear a hat in a movie theater. You cannot throw a rock at a bird. You cannot live on a boat for more than 30 days per year. Movie houses that want to show films on Sunday must reserve one showing a month for religious material. It is illegal to use profanity in front of a dead body at a funeral home or in a coroner's office. It is illegal to change clothes on a storefront mannequin unless the, the shades are down. I tried to say that one without laughing. Number eight. So Atlanta has a long and rich sports history and is home to sports teams in almost all major sports. But there are some very strange and interesting sports-related trivia associated with the city as well. The fastest Major League Baseball game in history happened in Atlanta in 1910 when the Mobile Seagulls beat the Atlanta Crackers 2-1 to one in 32 minutes. Now, just compare that to the average length of a baseball game now. It's about three hours. <laughs> I would have much rather watched the 32-minute game, to be honest. Next one. The largest win in American football history also took place in Atlanta when Georgia Tech beat Cumberland College 222-0. to zero. Wow. The Atlanta baseball franchise is the only team to play every season since professional baseball began in 1871. They spent their first 82 years in Boston as the Stockings, the Red Caps, the Rustlers, and the Bees, among others. Then they moved to M Milwaukee in 1953, and then finally to Atlanta in 1966. Now, I didn't know this, but Atlanta actually had an NHL team twice. For 12 years, they had the Thrashers, which now that I know they used to be Thrashersville, perfect name. Uh, and that was there for 12 years. And then it moved to Winnipeg and became the Jets. But then also they had an NHL team from 1972 to 1980 as well called the Flames. So it seems like Atlanta, they try to have NHL teams, but they can never manage to keep them very long. I don't know if it's the heat melting all the ice or what. Number nine. Atlanta has been given the title of city in a forest for being the most heavily forested urban area in the U.S., covering 47.9% of the city, which actually surprised me quite a bit. So interestingly, none of these trees are actually peach trees, despite the fact that Georgia's got all this peach fame and that there are actually at least 71 streets that use the word peach tree in Atlanta. But there's no peach trees in Atlanta. Number 10. You may not know that Atlanta's symbol is the phoenix, and the reason for this is because Atlanta is the only U.S. city to ever be destroyed as an act of war and then to rise from the ashes. So in November of 1864, General Sherman's troops captured Atlanta during the Civil War, but they were not going to be able to maintain control when they left. So rather than ceding control back to the Confederates, he ordered his troops to burn the city to the ground. All but 400 buildings were destroyed. But then Atlanta has risen from those ashes, which is why its symbol is that of the Phoenix. So this has been our list of 10, plus some extra bonuses, fascinating facts about the city of Atlanta. Atlanta.